hey welcome to my channel and today i have another theater vlog for you so today i'm actually heading to the story house in chester i'm gonna go and see the snow queen which is their christmas production really excited i've always enjoyed the story of the snow queen so it'd be nice to see how they've interpreted it and yeah i'm just really looking forward to it i have kindly been gifted my tickets for tonight's show for their press night and yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. I'm going with my brother-in-law again, Nathan, and it should be a fun day. So he's gonna drive us there. Um, show starts at seven. Uh, we're actually sat in the um, circle. Um, so I'm really excited to be sat somewhere new in the storehouse because obviously we sat in the stores last time we went. So it's gonna be interesting to see what our views like from the circle. And yeah, I will probably get back to you now when we are heading out. I'm really excited to see what the view's like from up here. I'm sure we've never sat up here before. Strobes. Oh, some strobe lighting. Oh, let me let me just find my. Uh... Oh, is it? Look, it's raised. Oh wow. It's D10 and 11. So this is the view from our seats. So they've completely changed the theatre from the way it was last time we were here. So we're actually in the circle, but it's like you're in the stores, isn't it, Nathan? Mm. Here's Nathan here. Hello. Here he is. Um, yeah, it feels like we're. It's, it feels like a completely different theatre. From yeah, it just feels so different. It's amazing how they can change the theatre around so much. It just looks so different, but yeah, it's like we're in a di completely different venue. But I'm really looking forward to it. It looks really good. This is the view from the stage. So we're in circle, row D, C, 10 and 11 did I say? Hmm? We 10 and 11? Mm -hmm. Yeah, seats 10 and 11. So this is a really good view. Wasn't expecting such a good view. Mm. So yeah, we'll probably get back to you now at the interval. Uh, let you know what we think.
interval. I really enjoy the show. It's very different. It's not the Snow Queen story that I'm used to. Um, but I'm enjoying it. Nathan's a bit lost, but I'm really enjoying it. I think it's really good. Um, so I'm really looking forward to the next half and see what's going to happen. But yeah, so far it's really, really good. And I'm really loving the theatre again. It's such an amazing theatre. I like the way it's changed from the last time we're here. It's really, really good. Definitely think I need to bring Lawrence here. Lawrence would love this theatre. Um, so yeah, I'll get back to you now after the show. So as it's press night tonight, we are, there are some free drinks. Uh, I think there's wine, water and, and juice. I just got water. Um, but yeah, it's a great venue. You can get food here. You can buy food. There's like um, a little bar that sells bar food and stuff, which is really nice. There's also a little concession stand that sells sweets and things. They actually had a bit of merch for the show, actually. They had some mugs. I'm not sure how much they are, though. But yeah, I love this venue. I didn't have time to review the show when I got back last night but I'm going to do it today. I apologise if you can hear any noise in the background. I do have both my children at home. Hopefully I can get through this before they come in wanting anything. So I was kindly gifted my tickets to the Snow Queen last night by the Storyhouse Theatre. Um, when we arrived at the Storyhouse venue um, you could actually go straight inside. Like on most theatres they make you queue outside um, while they check your bags and check your tickets. When you get to the story house, you can actually go straight inside, which is great when it's freezing outside. Remember when we went to the Lion King the other day? Obviously, it's a much bigger theatre, and we were queuing outside for ages in the freezing cold. But um, yeah, this time you just you can just go straight in. There is a quick bag check once you're inside, and um, and then you can just go into the warmth. It was really nice and cosy in there. Um, they had live music playing, which was really nice. I just felt a really cosy friendly atmosphere and if you've watched my previous vlog when I went to Storyhouse to see the Time Traveller's Wife I mentioned that the Storyhouse isn't just a theatre it also has a, a library in there it has um, some community spaces it has bars it has um, another th smaller theatre at the top um, so it's, it's a really good like community venue they have a lot of activities on there and they have some free kids activities over the Christmas period they do like a open mic night every month I think for um, people with disabilities um, they have book clubs on there there's so much on uh, if you live in the Chester or surrounded areas definitely check out the story house there's lots lots of stuff going on there it's really nice like little community hub going on there yes yeah, so there's always lots of things going on at the storehouse so definitely if you live in the area check it out go on the website it lists all the things that they have on there every week i'll link the website below so you can check it out like i said if you live in the local area it's a really good place to go all the staff are really friendly in there as well really really welcoming uh, me and um, nathan have been there twice now and we've said it's probably like our favorite venue to visit all the staff are so friendly and it's just a really nice atmosphere in there so for the Snow Queen there was actually a bit of merch. I wasn't expecting to have any merchandise but they did have some mugs available. I don't know how much they were but they did have some mugs. They also had a little program which was a pound. So do you actually have one off? I'll just get it and show you. So yeah, these were the little programs that they were selling for a pound. So these are little programs and then you can scan the QR codes for different things. So you can scan this QR code and it'll give you a article on the Storyhouse team. This QR code, you get an interview with the director, and then and then there's a QR code here which you can scan for the cast bios, and then there's another QR code to start scan, uh, which has an interview with Lucy Tuck, who is the Snow Queen. So. Rosemary Akafu, I think her name is pronounced, is playing Gerda. Lucy Tuck is playing the Snow Queen. Tanoa Matope, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, but he's playing Kai. We've got Will Kirk, 
he plays John Daffodil Fred and the Laughing Robber. Kate Mailer, Kate Mailer, she is playing uh, Mrs. Flynn, Frederica, Rose, and Robber Woman. Then you have Tom Richardson, he plays Mr. Oversku. Snowdrop, JJ and Bay. So Chloe Wade, who I actually thought was great in this, all her characters were so funny. I uh, thought she gave a really good performance. Um, she played Alicia, I can never pronounce the name, Alicia I think it is. Uh, Bindweed, Lily and Robber Girl. And, and the whole cast were really good. All gave, gave great performances, but I think the standout ones were definitely Chloe Wade and um, Rosemary Akafu, she was really good as Gerda. And then it, on the back it has some information about how you can support the story house. So it has that on the back as well. So for this show we were actually sat in the circle. We were on row D seat 10 and 11 and we went in through door F. However I was expecting to be up on a tier looking down. However they completely changed the way the theatre looked from the last time we went, so last time we went was to see the Time Traveller's Wife and we were in the stalls. For this production what they'd done is they'd moved the, the stage to where the stall section was and so the circle then became the lower level. So it was like we were sat in the stalls and we were really close. It meant that all seats were really close to the action and it felt like you were really immersed in the, um, in the production. So it's really clever how they can change the fit around. I thought it was really interesting to see the difference between the last time we went and this time. So it's really interesting that you can do that. So for smaller shows, they can make the theatre smaller, and then for having more, more a larger show, they can make it bigger. And yeah, it was really interesting to see how they've done that. So our view from our seats was absolutely excellent. However, I'm pretty sure the way, the way this, they had laid out the theatre for the show, I'm pretty sure you'd get a really good view wherever you were sat. Um, wherever you sat you were really close so I'm I'm pretty sure that no matter what seat you sat in for the show you're gonna get a good view. Snow Queen is a story house original it's obviously based on the Snow Queen by Hans Christian Andersen which is a really um, really popular children's story I read it when I was little I actually always thought it was quite a dark story but they made this very fun and um, light-hearted it was it was really funny I had some really funny bits in it and yeah, it's like a, it's an original retelling of the story. So it's a bit different to the original, but it still tra stayed true to the original story. So the show tells the story of Gerda and her friend Kai. Kai gets some of the Snow Queen's mirror in his eyes, which puts him under the Snow Queen's spell. And then she makes Kai find the rest of the pieces of her mirror which has been smashed and scattered throughout the world so he is then like her slave who is looking for all pieces of the shattered mirror Gerda then goes on a journey to try and find her friend Kai she travels through the different seasons which are like different lands on the way she meets lots of interesting characters it starts off in spring where she meets his deer, tries to get her to stay in her garden. Um, she also meets some flowers in the garden who were all hilarious. They were really, really funny. They got a lot of laughs from children, the flowers. And yeah, they, I thought the flowers were really funny part of the show. After spring, she then moves to summer, which I think was probably the most hilarious part for me. I absolutely loved the summer scenes where she met a princess who was preparing to get married and all the characters were just so, so hilarious they put on posh accents and it was just so funny they had beach balls flying down from from the air uh they had bubbles uh they had like a uh ball pool on the stage which they sat in so yeah i think the summer the summer scene was probably my favorite and the one which i probably laughed at the most after summer they then went into the autumn season where Gerda met Robber Girl and her family uh, and their pet reindeer, Bay. Bay was a tap dancing reindeer. I think Bay got one of the biggest laughs for, of the show. He was very funny. Um, also part of the autumn 
the scene they had a dance battle and the cast came into the audience asking people for their best dance move um and people were showing dance moves and then they went back on stage and used their dance moves which was a uh, some good audience participation so the story is really all about friendship and adventure and it is such a fun show um they have a band on stage um and the music that they played was really nice it was like um sort of like nordic type music it fit, fit really well with the show and the musicians also changed their head the head um, they had some head pieces but when you're in like the summer when they were in the spring they had little flower hats on uh, which was thought it was really nice that they um did that i thought this was a great family friendly show perfect for christmas um a great alternative to a traditional panto if you want something with a bit with a bit more story to it uh, i thought this was a really good alternative to a panto so the show runs for two hours with a 15 minute interval which i think is probably the perfect time for a children's show um, for them to be able to keep their attention so i would rate the show four stars it had some great music in it really good acting i love the story and it had some really funny bits in it as well so i thought it was a great production by the story house and I definitely recommend it. So the Snow Queen is running at the Story House Theatre from the 10th of December to the 15th of January. I will link down below where you can get your tickets and I definitely recommend the show. I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it and I think it's great for families. So I hope you have enjoyed this little vlog. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.